Malware is any software intentionally designed to cause disruption to a computer, server, client or computer network, to leak private information, gain unauthorized access to information or systems, deprive access to information or which unknowingly interferes with the user's computer security and privacy. But how do these different types of malware actually work? Professionals describe malware as a group of malicious software. And today we will talk about every type of malware that's out there. Trojan Horse A Trojan Horse disguises itself as a legitimate program to trick you into installing it, much like the ancient wooden horse that had hidden soldiers inside. Once inside your system, it quietly opens a backdoor to further exploitation. A classic example is the Zeus Trojan, which was known for stealing banking credentials. Ransomware encrypts your files and hold them hostage until you pay a ransom, effectively locking you out of your own data. It typically spreads through phishing emails or vulnerable software, causing problems in both personal and corporate environments. WannaCry is one of the most infamous examples, having disrupted systems around the globe. Rootkits Rootkits are designed to hide their presence by embedding themselves deep within the operating system, concealing other malicious processes from detection. They are like digital ninjas that operate sneaky, making removal a very hard task. The Sony BGM Rootkit scandal is a popular example that compromises user systems without detection. Kilohors Kilohors record every stroke you make, capturing sensitive information such as password and credit card numbers. They often work silently in the background, turning your keyboard into a data source for cyber criminals. For instance, some variants of the Zeus Trojan include keylogging, features to steal financial information. Worms Worms are self-replicating malware that spread across networks without any user intervention, exploiting vulnerabilities to infect as many systems as possible. They can cause widespread disruption by overwhelming networks and systems. The I love you worm, which spread via email attachments and created global problems, is a known example. Fileless malware Fileless malware operates entirely in memory, using legitimate system tools and processes, so it leaves little to no trace on the disk. This stealthy behavior makes it extremely challenging for traditional antivirus programs to detect and remove. PowerShell-based attacks are a common form of fileless malware that can silently compromise systems. Botnets Botnets are networks of compromised devices that are controlled remotely by an attacker, forming a digital army to launch coordinated attacks like DDoS or spamming campaigns. Once infected, your device becomes an unaware soldier in these large-scale operations. The Mirai botnet, which enlisted millions of VOT devices to launch massive DDoS attacks, is a prime example. Adware Adware automatically delivers unwanted advertisements on your device and often tracks your online behavior to serve targeted ads. While it might seem more annoying than dangerous, it can slow down your system and compromise your privacy. Fireball, which hijacks browsers to push intrusive ads, is an example that highlights the risk of adware. Spyware Spyware carefully monitors your activity, gathering sensitive information like browsing habits, login credentials and personal data, then sends it back to the attacker. Operating in the shadows, it poses a serious threat to privacy and security. Pegasus Spyware, known for its advanced mobile surveillance capabilities, is a notable example of spyware in action. Polymorphic Malware Polymorphic malware continuously changes its code or appearance to evade detection by antivirus software, making it a moving target for security systems. This constant mutation allows it to slip past signature-based defenses and remain undetected. Many variants of the Zeus Trojan utilize polymorphic techniques to maintain their stealth. Zero-day exploits Zero-day exploits target vulnerabilities that are unknown to software vendors, giving attackers a window of opportunity before a patch is available. This makes them incredibly dangerous as traditional defenses have no knowledge of the threat. Stuxnet is a famous example that exploited zero-day vulnerabilities in industrial control systems to cause significant damage. It's estimated to cost more than one billion dollars to produce malware like that. Virus. A computer virus attaches itself to legitimate programs and spreads when those programs are executed, often corrupting files and data in the process. Like biological viruses, they rely on host programs to propagate and can wreak problems on infected systems. The Melissa virus, which spread via email attacks and infected countless documents is a classic example. Did you ever get a virus on your computer? Comment your story and how you got it. Metamorphic Malware Metamorphic Malware takes evasion to another level by completely rewriting its own code with each infection, making traditional signature-based detection ineffective. This self-altering behavior means that no infections are identical, making it hard to track. Virate Malware is a notorious example known for its constantly changing structure. Stehanographic Malware Stehanographic Malware hides its malicious payload within innocent-looking files such as images, audio or video, making it hard to detect by conventional security tools. It's like concealing a knife in a box of chocolates, but the danger is hidden in plain sight. Stegoloader, which embeds malicious code within image files, is a well-documented example. 
self-destructing malware. Self-destructing malware is programmed to erase itself after executing its harmful payload, leaving little evidence behind for forensic analysis. This tactic makes tracking and understanding the attack incredibly challenging. NotPetya, which wiped systems clean after encrypting data, is a prime example of this type of malware. Packers and cryptors. Packers and cryptors are tools used by malware authors to hide their code, essentially packing the malicious payload in layers of encryption or compression to avoid detection. They mask the true nature of the malware, making it harder for security software to analyze it. Many malware samples use packers like UPX to hide their malicious activities. Info stealers. Info stealers are designed to harvest sensitive data from infected systems, such as passwords, credit card numbers, and personal documents often operating quietly in the background. They essentially turn your system into a data mine for cyber criminals. Agent Tesla is a well-known info stealer that has been used to siphon off credentials and sensitive information. Banking Trojans Banking Trojans specifically target online banking platforms to steal login credentials and financial information. They often combine key login and form grabbing to capture your sensitive financial data while you go about your normal activities. The Zeus Trojan is a notorious example that inflicted major financial losses through targeted attacks. Form grabbers. Form grabbers intercept data entered into web forms, capturing login details and personal information as you type. They operate in real time, making them especially dangerous during online transactions. Pias form grabbing functionality is a big example, highlighting how attackers can sneakily harvest sensitive data. Clipper malware. Clipper malware alters the content of your clipboard by replacing legitimate data with malicious alternatives, often targeting cryptocurrency transactions. It silently swaps information such as wallet addresses to redirect funds to the attacker. A known Clipper variant has been observed intercepting and altering Bitcoin wallet addresses during transfers. Man in the browser malware Man in the browser malware infects your web browser to intercept and modify communications between you and online services. This type of attack can alter transactions or steal credentials without you even realizing it's happening. Zeus Panda is a famous example, known for its ability to hijack online banking sessions in real time. Session hijackers. Session hijackers steal active session tokens, allowing attackers to impersonate legitimate users and gain unauthorized access to accounts. By intercepting valid session data, they bypass standard login procedures and compromise online security. Tools like Firesheep have made session hijacking a common threat on unsecured networks. DNS hijacking malware. DNS hijacking malware manipulates your system DNS settings, redirecting you to malicious websites even when you type in the correct URL. This redirection can lead to phishing scams and data theft without raising any immediate alarms. DNS Changer is a notorious example that rerouted users to fraudulent sites, highlighting the risk of DNS manipulation. Advanced Persistent Threats, or APTs. APTs are sophisticated, long-term attacks where hackers infiltrate a network and remain undetected for months or even years, gathering valuable information along the way. They often use multiple attack vendors and evolve over time to evade detection. APT28, also known as Fancy Bear, is a well-known example of a state-sponsored group engaging in persistent cyber espionage. State-sponsored malware. State-sponsored malware is developed by government entities to conduct espionage or sabotage against other nations, often targeting critical infrastructure and sensitive information. These attacks are highly advanced and carry significant geopolitical implications. Stuxnet is a prime example, widely believed to have been developed by state actors to disrupt Iran's nuclear program. SCADA malware. SCADA malware targets industrial control systems that manages critical infrastructure like power plants, water treatment facilities, and manufacturing processes. By compromising these systems, attackers can cause widespread disruptions with potentially dangerous consequences. End Destroyer is an example that was designed to interfere with power grid operations, highlighting the vulnerabilities in industrial networks. Air Gap Malware Air Gap Malware is crafted to breach systems that are physically isolated from the internet, often using unconventional methods like infected USB drives to cross the gap. Although these networks are typically more secure, the impact of such an attack can be catastrophic. Agent BTZ is a notable example that managed to bridge the air gap and infect secure systems. Boot Kits Boot kits infect the boot sector of a computer, ensuring that they load before operating the system starts, which makes them extremely difficult to detect and remove. By embedding themselves in a startup process, they maintain persistence even after system reboots. The TDL4 bootkit is an infamous for its stealth and resilience in compromising systems. Firmware malware. Firmware malware targets low-level software embedded in a hardware device, such as BIOS or network card firmware, allowing it to survive OS reinstallation and hard drive wipes. 
This deep-seated infection can compromise your device at a fundamental level. Bad USB is a well-known example that manipulates USB firmware to gain control over systems. Rogue apps. Rogue apps disguise themselves as legitimate applications to trick users into downloading them, only to steal data or take control over the device once installed. They often mimic well-known software, making it difficult to tell them apart from the real thing. Fake antivirus programs, which claim to protect your computer while actually installing malware, are a common example of rogue apps. SMS Trojans SMS Trojans target mobile devices by leveraging text messages to prompt users into downloading malicious apps or revealing personal information. They often exploit vulnerabilities in mobile systems to compromise sensitive data, including financial information. Zeus Mobile is an example of an SMS Trojan designed to infiltrate smartphones and steal banking credentials. Phishing Malware Phishing malware uses deceptive emails or messages that appear legitimate to trick users into installing malware or disclosing personal data. These attacks exploit human trust by mimicking trusted institutions, luring victims into a false sense of security. Campaigns that deliver low-key ransomware through phishing emails serve as a prominent example of this dangerous tactic. Business Email Compromise Malware Business Email Compromise Malware targets corporate email systems deceiving employees into transferring funds or revealing confidential information. These attacks often involve impersonation of high-level executives and can result in significant financial losses. TrickBot, linked to several high-profile email compromise cases, is a well-known example of this threat. Macro Malware Macro Malware exploits the macro functionalities in Office documents to execute malicious code when a file is opened. It spreads through email attachments or shared documents, often hidden as routine files until activated. The Melissa virus, which exploited word macros to infect current systems, is a classic example of macro malware. Cloud Malware Cloud Malware is designed to infiltrate cloud environments, targeting data stored on remote servers and disrupting cloud services. By exploiting vulnerabilities in cloud infrastructures, attackers can access vast amounts of sensitive information. Cloud Hopper Campaign is a prime example of how malware can breach enterprise cloud security. IoT Malware IoT Malware targets smart devices from home cameras to thermostats that often have weak security measures. By compromising these devices, attackers can create botnets or spy on your activities. The Mirai botnet, which infected millions of EOT devices to launch massive data attacks, is one of the most infamous examples. Router malware. Router malware infects the firmware of routers, giving attackers the ability to monitor and manipulate your network traffic. By compromising the gateway to your home or business network, it can intercept data and redirect you to malicious sites. VPN filter is a notorious example that targets routers on a global scale. Cryptojacking malware. Cryptojacking malware hijacks your device's processing power to mine cryptocurrencies without your consent, often causing system slowdowns and higher energy consumption. It typically runs in the background, making its presence hard to notice until performance drops. CoinHive scripts embedded in websites to mine cryptocurrencies are a well-known example of this threat. Cryptostealer Malware Cryptostealer Malware is engineered to locate and steal cryptocurrency wallet keys and login credentials, targeting digital assets directly. It scans for wallet files and sensitive data, compromising your financial security in the process. There have been targeted campaigns aimed at stealing Ethereum wallet information, showcasing the threat posed by Cryptostealer Malware. Logic Bombs Logic Bombs are malicious code segments that lie dormant until a specific condition or event triggers their destructive payload. Once activated, they can delete files, corrupt data, or cause system failures, often with little warning. A notable case involved a logic bomb that wiped critical data at UBS in 2006, highlighting the covert dangers they pose. Time bombs. Time bombs are similar to logic bombs, but are strictly activated based on predetermined time or date. When a set moment arrives, they execute their payload, leading to potentially catastrophic system damage. Think of a virus programmed to trigger on a specific date, like a Friday the 13th bomb that unexpectedly disrupts operations. Backdoor malware. Backdoor malware creates secret entry points in your system bypassing standard security measures and granting unauthorized access to attackers. These hidden channels allow continuous remote control over the infected systems. The infamous backrestive tool is a classic example, having providers hacked with persistent access and numerous attacks. Rogue Admin Malware Rogue Admin Malware hides its legitimate administrative tools, tricking users into granting it elevated privileges that it uses to compromise system security. It manipulates system settings and bypasses restrictions, often leading to severe data breaches. Instances of fake admin utilities used to gain unauthorized access illustrate the threat posed by Rogue Admin Malware. Rogue Security Software Also known as Scareware, Rogue Security Software pretends to be legitimate antivirus or security tools, tricking you into purchasing fake protection while 
how it installs malware instead. It creates a false sense of urgency with fake alerts and warnings preying on your fear of infections. Spy Sheriff is a notorious example that fools users into believing their systems were at risk while compromising their security. Malvertising Malvertising involves injecting malicious code into legitimate online advertisements, turning them into vectors for malware distribution without user consent. These ads exploit browser vulnerabilities and can infect your system simply by being displayed on trusted websites. Several ransomware campaigns in 2016 spread through compromised ad networks, causing millions of dollars in damages. Click fraud malware. Click fraud malware is designed to generate fake ad clicks, inflating revenue for cyber criminals or disrupting advertising systems by creating false traffic. It stimulates user interactions with ads, messes up performance metrics, and drains resources. Clickbot malware, which artificially boosts click counts, is a common example of this deceptive practice. AI powered malware. AI powered malware leverages artificial intelligence to analyze its environment and adapt its tactics in real time, making it exceptionally hard to predict or counteract. By learning from system behavior, it can modify its attack strategies on the fly, evading the traditional security measures. While still emerging, threats in this category illustrate the potential for malware that evolves as fast as its defenders. AI will have a big role in malware development in the future for sure. Deepfake Malware Deepfake Malware combines malicious code with deepfake technology, enabling it to create convincing fake audio or video content to impersonate trusted individuals. This hybrid approach can be used in sophisticated social engineering attacks to manipulate targets and to take harmful actions. There have been instances where deepfake videos were used to lend credibility to fraudulent requests, demonstrating the dangerous potential of this threat. Voice phishing malware. Voice phishing malware, often referred to as phishing, uses synthesized or manipulated voices to impersonate legitimate callers, tricking victims into disclosing sensitive information over the phone. By mimicking trusted authorities like bank officials, it creates an illusion of legitimacy that can be hard to detect. A well-documented case involved attackers using spoofed caller IDs to trick victims into revealing confidential data. If you can add a fifth type of malware in the comments, then I'll personally reward you with 50 cookies. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.